Hello everyone, welcome back to Divinus, and this is going to be scenario two of the campaign. I only have two in my prototype, so this is going to be the final chapter for now. Who knows what the future holds? But this is where a lot more of the mechanisms and moving parts get added to the game. In case this is just the first one you've clicked on though, there is part one, scenario one, in the description you can go to to see how we got to this stage, see how Marty became the Horde Unleasher, see how we got the favour that we did, and see how stickers ended up on things. Once more, I'd remind you to turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel, you get notified of any mistakes I might have made. This game is currently on GameFound, seeking funding if you would like to see more of what the final game will have, uh, more about their content across 12 scenarios, and see all the final stuff. This is prototype, pretty representative for its prototype parts. Uh, the GameFound campaign will be linked in the description or the corner of the screen for you to see all of that. And I'll remind you, I was paid to make this playthrough. So here we go. Throughout the first scenario, we added some more faction symbols, some locations to tiles, but adding stickers to tiles doesn't really do anything yet. It's when you take tiles that have those stickers on them that we'll start to see effects. Therefore, scenario two. So here we go. Here is the standings. Uh, I have the favor of the Greek gods, three to one. We are tied for the Vikings, uh, but overall I have six favor to Marty's four. He has been given the first player marker for this game. The app said so. And we are ready to start the next scenario where we're going to be adding some stickers and things before we start. The Great War. Just as Pythia foresaw, conflict was inevitable and war has erupted between the Greeks and Vikings. The final spark was the arrival of two mighty warrior gods. War-loving Ares leads the Greek soldiers in the war against the Viking invaders who are led by the powerful hammer-wielding Thor. So now we need to delve into the secret scenario two box and grab the cards that are in there. And as you might expect, here we have Ares and Thor, and they are interested in what we are going to do in our lands this time. But also coming back, Gaia and Emir also stay out on the board. So now we have scoring for Gaia and Emir who want the most different types of terrain, the biggest types of terrain. Ares wants the most Greek faction symbols. Thor wants the most Viking faction symbols. Remember in scenario one, they were quests that we were racing for. Now they are end game scoring criteria for us to get some more favor rather than just racing for them to be the first of four. You there, Tom, I knew I'd find you here. You built our first keep in this new land, well done. It shall be a gathering point for our forces, and from it we shall launch our campaign of conquest upon these lands. I thank thee, please accept this gift of mine. This is nothing compared to the rich plunder I shall gain thanks to you. Ooh, so for, I've already been rewarded by uh, the Greeks, I believe, with a 135 sticker on my die, and now I'm getting a 10. Ooh, instead of, let's see, instead of the five on here, I'll put the 10 on there. So I've got three dice with uh, special faces now. And history shall know me as a Nordic engineer. I'll go on my box. These warlike gods are followed by famous smiths of both pantheons. War, as terrible as it is, also brings opportunities to those who can fuel its fires. Hephaestus has opened his forge to help arm the Greeks and their supporters. On the other side, Wayland has brought his powerful artifacts to strengthen the Vikings. So now we take the large sticker depicting the forge and we place it on the board itself. I'm really trying to be in the lines, it never quite works out. Uh, and uh, then we need to grab the little sticker sheet containing Hephaestus die stickers, and that goes on here. Then we need Wayland's workshop with another location sticker on it that goes on the right side of the board. And the sticker sheet with Wayland's artifacts can go on here. So you can see where this is going, can't you? There are going to be ways of us getting more faces on our dice and special artifacts on our demigod boxes. Then we need to apply new stickers to the rules again. This concerns a new action we can take. So we can explore, we can rest as we did in the first scenario, but now we can forge dice. These are charge actions. So you can place two or more ready dice on the forge of Hephaestus. The total must equal minus one, two, or three. And then when you rest, before you take back and reroll your dice, you can take one dice sticker from the appropriate row. Doesn't matter how many dice you put here, you still only get one sticker per rest. And you can't cover a previously applied sticker unless the app explicitly says so. And then more stickers which tell us about the artifacts charge action. In a similar way, you can choose for your action to place dice that 
equal 13, 14, or 15 total together. And then when you rest and pull the dice off, you can take the appropriate artifact from the sticker sheet and pop it on your demigod box. And if perhaps the one you wanted isn't there anymore or you've changed your mind, maybe you'll get to rearrange your total. So uh, using the one as minus or the one as plus could give him 13 or 15 in this example. And then a couple more notes on rest actions. You know, if you're going to rest, check to see if you've got any charge actions first. What charge actions are, you know, you don't have to rest straight after you've charged dice in that location. You can wait several turns if you want to. And if you've got dice on both charge actions, then you do both of them before you bring any of your dice back and you choose which uh, order you want to do them in. You see now, everything takes shape as I predicted. War is upon us, and you will be forced to take sides. Arm yourself properly, taking advantage of the godsmith's powers, for a bloody strife lies before you. Language? So we have some new quests here to familiarise ourselves with. We have places of power, have four sacred sites on our map. We saw those in the first scenario, but we still don't know what they are. An ally for Hephaestus, forge most dice sides, last one in case of a tie and Wayland's Regret by the most artifacts. Pay special attention to the new location stickers on here. When you do the charge action, you scan the location with the app because the app is gonna track our progress towards these quests. Fear not this conflict, for with it comes the opportunity for you to reach for the stars. The stakes are higher than ever, and I foresee the first inevitable casualty among the gods. And just one more rule sticker. Now, the two gods from the opposing pantheons will clash so the person who has the favor of Ares and the player who has the favor of Thor will compare their progress towards each of their goals. So whoever's got the most Greek faction symbols and the Viking faction symbols. The winner of the clash will have a crucial impact on the outcome of the scenario and may receive a special reward. And if the same player's got both of their favors, that player chooses who wins the clash. Know that from now on, exploring important sites will surely have consequences, positive ones especially for the current favourite of the associated pantheon. Because I trust you, I shall grant you one glimpse even further into the future. For you see, this war will not be the end of this struggle of pantheons. Once the warfare ends, there will be another event of great significance which we have not spoken of until now. You may have come across the places of sacred power scattered across the land. They will be of utmost importance, and you might do well to visit them beforehand. Go now, demigods, there is much ahead for you to explore. Here we go then, we are back. We're ready, we're raring to go. Marty's first, isn't he? So we better roll our dice. They don't um, determine who's first anymore, but we still need a particular configuration of dice. And let's see our available spaces, see if we've got any of these locations to dive for straight away. Here we go. Marty's first and he's rolled a five. I think let's see about exploring locations. Because this is surely the Viking place. We're both the favors of Vikings and Marty's on top. I think he, I don't think he'll get the extra bonus. But still, we want to see what happens, right? So I'll say location three. Yes. Who are you? Marty. You arrive at the largest Viking settlement in Greece. Built near the picturesque bay, their town is already well established and protected by a large fortified keep. Welcome, demigod. Enjoy our hospitality. The local community is preparing for war. Warriors pray to Thor and ready their arms for departure, while brave shield maidens strengthen the keep's defences in case some Greeks are foolish enough to attack it in their husband's absence. All wise Marty, our ships are ready. We're departing soon. Lead us. Where should we seek glory and rich plunder? Lead them to raid a very important rich area? Marty, you may as a free action immediately explore any tile on the main board that contains Vikings and not a location sticker. You must use your single highest value ready die, which uh, is going to be four, to claim this tile. It doesn't need to match the tile's number. If there is no valid tile, you don't get this reward. So... A Viking and not a location sticker. Well, we want both, don't we? So why doesn't he go for this one? Then he can kind of hedge his bets with both gods. Pop that there. That's quite nice, isn't it? So there we go. Marty got a little bonus for doing that. I want to get straight in there on dice faces. I'm going to put in, let's see, four and a one. So nothing happens yet, but it will. I haven't put a single tile down yet. That's a bit of a worry. But there are no locations for Marty to find now. But he can... What's he got? Six? He could go for ten here. Now, he's not doing anything towards artifacts and most sides, or he's got one sacred place. But he can you know, go for the favour of both of them right now. And he can just kind of race towards finishing his map, see how that works out. 
Uh, he definitely can't do either of these this time around, though. I'm going to try and go for both, then. I'm going to do 14 on there. Marty could claim the two. It's got a place of power on it. There's number two, because this is a quest that we're supposed to be racing for. Uh, I can't claim a five. Oh, no. So I'm going to rest. So I will get to... This die's not got a sticker on it, so I had minus three, right? Let's put the nine on it instead of a six. It's now a nine. And then I had 14, so I'm going to grab the magnifying glass. After resting, reroll all your dice with the lowest value. So that's going on my demigod box as a special power I have now. At the moment, I'm winning both of those quests. There's a lot of game to go, isn't there? So I reroll now. We don't see any new tiles, and we reroll all dice with the lowest value, which is two. Let's see if we can get some better results. There we go. We've finally seen one of my stickers. Marty has no dice. He has to rest, and he's got no charge actions to activate, but we need to see some new tiles for me. So, yeah, there's places of power. There's Greek symbols. What do I go for? I'm going to start, yeah, just with that three. There we go. Start with the places of power. But Marty, surely, he could just really push for that. He can just go for a one there. There's a new separate mountain section he's done. And there's three places of power, which, yeah, he could definitely... He's got five and six. He can definitely beat me to that. So there's no point racing for it. Oh, I can't take the ten yet. Because of how I've started now. Let's go for... Oh, yes. Let's say this is the six, then. It can be three or six. Nine. Get some water down so I can take some of these other tiles. Then Marty. It doesn't have to race towards any of this. Can just... Probably wants to grab a die face. We could do like six and five to get one of the minus ones. Oh, he can go for six here. This works really nicely, doesn't it? Keeps his mountains and his land going if he wants biggest areas. And there we go. He's got four places of power. He can claim the quest. So here we go. Places of power. Yes, we've fulfilled. It was Marty. This mysterious place radiating with magic has attracted your attention. As you step into the circle of power, you see Pythia sitting on the ground meditating. Well met, Marty. As I warned you, all of Greece is now engulfed in the fires of war. Just as mortal armies clash, Ares fights against Thor, and I think we may see one of them meet their fate very soon. Have you chosen the right side yet? No matter, this bloodshed will end either way, and its survivors will focus on worshipping the gods and building temples in their name in places of sacred power, places like this one. When the time of peace comes, which pantheon will you worship here? Oh no. What's he going to go for? I'm in the lead more on Greeks. I think he's going to go for Vikings. As I thought, remember that regardless of who wins the current war, this conflict will continue. Your sympathies may yet change, young one. Here, take this amulet. You will find it useful when honouring the gods in sacred places. He gets a Viking favour. And Pythia's amulet. So he gets himself an artefact now. Each time you explore a tile with a sacred place on it, reroll any number of your ready dice. Nice little uh, thing to do. And the world will know Marty is the worshipper. Okay, and that's how we stand. So, tightened up a little bit now. Over to me then, and my <laughs> comparatively puny map. I can try and get a bit more Greek favour now with my 10 here. Marty, pretty much free to do whatever he wants to. Uh, can he go for that 8? Oh yeah, he can say this is a 3. There's an 8. Where can he place it? Pretty much anywhere he likes, right? He can do it there, and maybe the mountains will link up, and he'll just have a massive mountain range. Probably not going to win different areas of them though if you think about splitting off at some points because we don't know what i'm going to do yet it's hard to compete against me when i haven't really done anything oh no i can't claim dice i've left myself with just one uh, so do i want the three three isn't there so i'm going to have to rest for my turn let's see re-roll the ones with the lowest value that's just going to be the one I'm not finding any of my fancy die faces yet but i'm sure they're on their way have i just revealed a location for marty to go to no, not just yet. So he's got six and six. Won't get him a... either of these things. So, what would he like? The six isn't there. Does he want the 12? Well, that would work out okay. Unless he moves upwards, it would cut off his land. That's kind of nice. Maybe make this a big sea area underneath. So we're going to end up with four by four grids. And Marty... <laughs> Feels like he's nearly halfway there. I'm sure he isn't quite that far yet, but not far off. As for me, I want to try and make sure I get a die face next time. But I also want 
as I go for seven. Here, there's another Viking symbol. I will match that up. Oh, we could just have loads of different grass places on their own up there. I don't know if I'll be able... I've got time even to make a really big one. Marty Rest, still done neither of these. So at the moment, I'm winning both of those quests at the end, which is a favour each. So he needs to think about that. New tiles come out, and is something really exciting that I'm going to go for? No. I think I am going to lock in buying the most artefacts. That's three dice! What am I doing? Marty can make sure I can't claim a tile with that last die then. He can use his two to grab this. Let's see, how can this go? That could go like that, make a separate water area, that might be nice. Or he can carry this one on to try and just win the biggest of all of them. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, then he's just explored somewhere that's got a place of power on it, so he can reroll any number of his dice. He's going to reroll all of these small numbers. He wants faction symbols. He gets very similar results. Back to me. I can't claim that too then, Marty's seen to that. So I bring my dice back. I got 13 though, so I can claim this Potion of Endurance. Every time you explore with three or more dice, refresh one of them. So that's not too bad, so I'll get one back. And even if Marty grabs that one, I have bought the most artifacts. Two out of the three. Uh, then everything comes back and re-rolls. Okay, Marty. Oh, and we see a new location. There's just one Viking symbol on there. Marty wants to try and make sure, I think, that he can get a die this time. We want to blow them all on dice. I am going to go for, let's see, eight. I'm going to go for a kind of cheap tile here. It just gives me another grass area and keeps my big mountain range going and expands my river. I like that. Oh, but it hasn't got a faction symbol on it. Could I do better? Could I do better than that? What if, like, that one going there wouldn't match up? Maybe I could go off in a different direction then. Yeah, I could do, say, seven. At least that's got a Viking symbol on it. Keep competing for these. But Marty, at the moment, he's got two, three, four, five, and three to my two and three. Oh, no, but I have <laughs> far, far fewer things down than he has. So here at the moment, he's got 12. Nowhere near claiming any kind of artifact. So what can he get instead? Let's not leave him in the same situation as last time, where he couldn't place any tiles. He will pop that there, because he can. That does finish off his mountains, though. Is that what he wants? Might not really have a choice. He needs water on both sides. Yeah, that's what he's going for. Uh, as for me, I'm going for nine so I can keep this going. Let's pop it over there. And I get to bring one back because of my artifact. Ooh, nice. Not going to be able to get a die, though. They're the same number. Oh, maybe not as nice. Marty, he's got six, he's got three. So he can't get nine, he can get six, basically. Which, he, he's just going to keep trying to get tiles. Oh, that matches up nicely. And he's going to reroll this because of his power. It's got a place of power on it. So he can take five now, if that's still there. And all I can do is take six isn't there, twelve. It's got a barbarian symbol on it, but I don't know that that's going to be a factor in this. So I'm going to rest. Because Marty's only got a five, so he can't take a location if one happens to come out here. And hopefully I'm going to have the numbers to do it. Nope. I'm sure we put a few locations out. They're just, uh, they're just low down in the stacks, aren't they? Uh, so, Marty, does he want that five? Now, he can slow down a little bit now. He doesn't really have to force the end. He's got 11 tiles to my six. He could afford to take a breather rather than having to just take a tile he doesn't really want. Because this, this could come underneath here, and it would go there. But it kind of restricts him for what he can place later. Now, I, I think he's just going to rest. So that means, first of all, he takes a die face. He's going to have a one or a six. Oh, and that's already got a sticker on. He could, he could just pile them up all on the same die. Pop it on there. And then everything gets re-rolled and filled up. I wouldn't mind some more faction symbols. And then that fits in quite nicely there. Marty, in a similar way, could do six and three to grab this nine. Does that fit in anywhere nice? Kind of. Although he's maybe restricting himself in the way that he didn't want to last time. Well, I suppose now he's getting a faction symbol for the bargain. So maybe he'd do that. Yeah. Pop that there. Or he could do it there to keep this little area going. Or does he want to move the whole thing down? And build up from here? And then he can keep making the... 
Yeah, he can pop that in the corner so it's a separate mountain area. And he can keep growing his grass area now. I think that's better. Okay, then zooming out so we can see all of Marty's <laughs> great big map. Oh dear, hopefully these help me out in future games because <laughs> I'm losing. I think I can only really compete for Vikings. Marty's already got six Greek symbols. Although you don't want to give up just yet. Where can I pop things? Let's see a 10 here. And that could go there. Maybe restricting what I can put in this space. Almost certainly restricting what I can put in this place. But maybe it'll be okay. Marty. Let's see, he wants the 11. He can't get that with his current dice. What if he just grabs this one for now? It would be the four that he wants to fit in here and maybe expand his mountains even further. Maybe he's not getting more dice. He's going to do that four. And he's going to re-roll both of these. Let's see if he can still get a die. He needs a difference of one, two, or three. Yes, he can. As for me, I want a dice face. So does Marty. I rest first, so I have minus three, so I can take the last face on the minus threes there. And let's put it on somewhere that hasn't got things already. I'm going to put it on a one face. Uh, and then over here, some more things come out. <gasps> a location. Tend to get a location, and I can get there first. I'm going to have to spend loads of dice to do it. Marty has got a difference of one again. So that's those both gone. Uh, so he got a seven on there. He's going to put that on a five. So let's see. Looking at the favor, was the, the tree was the Greeks, wasn't it? And I'm still way in the lead on Greeks. That just means I'm not going to get the extra benefit, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to go for it. Three, six, nine, ten. So I will get one of these back. Let's remember to do that. Oh, that was going to be a six. Uh, and then where can I place this? Not here. I can keep expanding my grass area. That wouldn't be too bad. And it's got a symbol of each on. Oh, even better. But now, location two needs to be explored. Yes. Who are you? Tom. Uh, you return to the same valley you once visited. Overgrown with Gaia's holy forest, it remains a place of great natural beauty. At first, you thought the Greeks had abandoned the place, but as you walk between the trees, you are welcomed by their watchmen. Is it really you, wise Tom? Welcome back. It turns out the Greeks were still in the valley, but due to the Viking threat, they had secluded themselves deep within the sacred forest. You humble us with your presence. We feel much safer now. We shall organize a great feast to celebrate your arrival, serving all the forest can provide. Refresh any number of your exhausted dice. This is not considered a rest action, but the spaces are refilled. Oh, okay then. So I just, I'll get all of these back then. Uh, why, is, why is this empty? Is that where Marty rested from and I haven't filled them up yet? <gasps> oh, maybe I should have taken that nine instead. Let Marty take that and I would have still gotten something. Oh, but I forgot to refill them. It's my fault. Uh, so Marty, almost certainly, six and three. He'll grab that. Is there somewhere he can place it? He can place it right there. That is... Oh, what are we on now? Three, six, seven Greeks and five Vikings. I am on four Greeks and six vikings i have just been given a load of dice back though i wouldn't mind let's say this is a five and there's a two oh nearly knocking dice over so i can claim a seven are there places that i can put these oh yeah i can have just grass off in the corner on its own and keep making my water bigger there's another viking marty now we both want to claim one more die face so that we win the quest but if there's a tie which there will be we can both do it if there's a tie, Marty's only two spaces away from, <laughs> from filling up his board. But if there was, as I was saying, if there was a tie, the last one to do it wins the quest. So he wants a difference of two saving. So he could take the six and the one here. And do they fit? They do fit really nicely. Look at this. Six. And he can re-roll any other dice if he wants to. I don't think he wants to. Then as for me, faction symbols, faction symbols. I can get 10 and I'll get a die back, but... Oh, no, that's that's 9, isn't it? 9, 10. Oh, but then... 3 and a 2. Oh, I can get 11. 11. Can I place this somewhere? Yeah, because I'm, I'm still... I've still only got three rows of things. 
I could even just make a, a, another separate mountain area and try and win in that way, because I'm not winning the biggest, am I? Let's face it. Should have this off on its own, maybe. Although, at the same time, I am going for 245, 2467. Whereas it's, it's Vikings that I want. Marty can end the game, though. He can take his last tile and end the game before I've taken a die face. Who was the last person to take a die face? The 10 would finish it off beautifully for him. I am going to put in... Yeah, that makes 12, doesn't it? 10. If I roll a 3, perfect. If not, I'm in trouble. That can just go off in its corner like we were going to before. So I want to win Vikings, don't I? And I've, I use 3 dice so I can take one back. I need to roll a 3 to be able to claim a die. 5 isn't right. So Marty now, that, that could have finished the game for him and got him another Viking. So now I think he wants to try and claim a die face first. That'll be his turn. As for me, I don't think I can win that then. So I think as I'm resting and taking all of my dice back, Marty will just end the game. I can't get 11. There are more locations hiding somewhere. If I rest, I could maybe claim the location. You know what, I'm going to try and go for tiles. Marty can still grab a 1 or a 6, but they're gone. Oh, and I've stopped Marty being able to take another tile. I don't know. I don't think he could have fit that one any, in anyway, just because of the way it was configured, but hey. So now, he has to rest, so he will take... Let's see, he'll take the 2 or the 5. Pop it on. Has this got 1? No. He'll pop that over the 2 there. And re-roll everything. And refill everything. There's one more location, I'm sure, hiding around. And now I'm sure can end the game on his next turn. But will he? I can try and make my grass a bit bigger, but I don't think it's big enough. I think Marty's winning both of them. And probably some of the most as well. Can he claim a... That would fit. Can he make 11? Surely. Kind of just cements his lead there. There's a 4x4 grid. There is the end of the scenario. Ends immediately. So... Like everyone else in the land of Greece, Gaia and Emir are preparing for the grand upcoming battle. Let us see which of you helped them most. Which player has the most plains areas? One, two, three for Marty. One, two, three, four, five, six for me. Me. There's a Greek favor. There's the most water areas. One, two, three, four, five for Marty. Just two for me. So that's Marty. So he gets one. There's the most mountain areas. One, two. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for me. So that's me. I think Marty's going to win on the biggest ones. Uh, who has the largest single planes area? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Very close. If I could have got one more turn, I could have matched him there. And then, then it would have been down to faction tiles, which I think I'm winning on. Uh, but Marty gets that. His actions gain him a Greek, uh, Viking favor. Largest water. It's just 4 for Marty. 2, 4. Four, six, seven for me. And then largest mountain is surely more. I shouldn't even have to count this. Look at this for a mountain range. Uh, Marty definitely wins that. Uh, the first direct clash of the gods is upon us. An epic battle is sure to ensue. Which player has the most Greek faction symbols? Marty has two, four, five, seven, eight. I have four. So Marty. He gets a favor. Who has the most Viking faction symbols? 245, 24678. Oh, wow. I went overboard. Me. Two armies led by their warrior gods finally met on the field of battle. It was the bloodiest battle ever witnessed by the young humans. The Vikings' brute force was pitched against unyielding Greek tenacity. Which player has more faction symbols of the faction symbol they led to battle? Oh. Two, four, six, eight. Is it it's the same? Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe I didn't go overboard then. Oh. Then what happens? The Greek forces gathered by Marty took advantage of their superior numbers to slowly advance forward, pushing the Vikings up against the seaside cliff. It was in this desperate moment when the battle seemed already decided that the tide turned. 
Ares fell to his knees, felled by the powerful strike of Thor's hammer. The battlefield froze as all gazes turned toward the clash of the gods. The Greeks wavered, seeing such real, almost human fear in their gods' eyes. Triumphant Thor raised his hammer to deliver the final fatal blow when his own chest suddenly exploded in a fountain of blood. Marty has su had sunk her weapon into deep into Thor's heart. Thus ended the great battle with Thor defeated. The Vikings fled the field in panic. The first war was over. What a roller coaster! So Thor goes back into the Scenario 2 box. A masterful stroke, demigod. I never expected you to be capable of defeating Thor where I failed. I owe you, and thereby name you, the fate of Thor. I find it only fitting that you should earn the spoils of your victory. By the right of the victor, take Thor's hammer as your own. So Marty grabs the fate of Thor, and even though he didn't spend much time, um, actually, he didn't spend any time going to get artifacts, he has ended up with two, the Hammer of Thor. Each time you explore a tile with Vi uh, the, um, Greeks, set any ready die. Marty keeps the first player marker in his box. And this concludes the two scenario preview. Thank you for playing Divinus. We hope you enjoyed the game. To be continued. So I hope it's going to show me the scores before it kicks me out. There we go. So at the moment, Marty did incredibly well in that. Oh, so the, the tie in that clash. If there's a tie, the tied player with less total favor wins. So Marty, since he has got nine to my 10, Marty won that clash to kind of catch him up a bit. So although I, I'm only leading by one <laughs> overall, I'm leading by two in the Greek favor and, and Marty's leading by one in the Viking favor, but I'm leading by one overall. We now are quite, you know, Marty's got one fewer die face change because even though he bought one more i had two more from rewards from the first scenario we haven't added any more things in there but there's definitely where is it there's definitely another place that we didn't get to explore we didn't actually both places that got explored got explored by the person who had the favor of the god but there we go that is scenario two and the end of my prototype of divinus i hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some idea of what the final game might be like. If you would like to know what I think after uh, playing through the preview copy, then you can click the link for my first impressions. And if you'd like to help me keep making more playthroughs, it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. If you can support me in that way, you get rewards and stuff for it. But mainly everything keeps happening. And you know, subscribe to the channel and like the videos and comment and stuff. It all helps. Thank you very much for doing any of it and for just being here in the first place. I will see you for the next game, I hope. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.